You know, there's ways, I think, that God uses to humble you. And like, if y'all think back to the last time you were just humble, yes. I had one of those humbling experiences. It was, I was in Chicago over the weekend because I was performing um, with, uh, it was at the What's So Funny Comedy Festival, which was created by Lil Rel Howery and his partner, Knowledge. And we had such, it was really a fun time. We had such a great time. And be, it was the night before I got in to my hotel. So I went into the restaurant, a, a really great hotel, Sophie Hotel, I think it was called. And it was very, very crowded. And I, you know, I don't, I don't like playing the celebrity card at all to get special creep, uh, treatment. I don't like doing it, but I was traveling by myself. It was crowded and I was so hungry. So nobody was with me. My road manager, usually when he's with me, he'll go call ahead or he'll go in the restaurant and he'll tell him Sherry Shepard is coming. And then when I get there, they take me right in and I pretend like, oh my God, it's the seat right here. So <laughs> we both know how this works. But this time nobody was with me and it was so crowded, there just was not a table. So I asked the, the lady, what do you call the, the person that greets you? The hostess. The hostess. Yes. I asked the hostess, I said, what, what is the wait time? And I kept looking at her like this because she wasn't recognizing me. I go, what is the wait <laughs> time? And she says, well, the wait time, ma'am, is about 20 to 30, 25 to 35 minutes. And I knew I couldn't wait that long. I was just so hungry. And I kept giving her this eye contact to let her know, it's me. <laughs> and I said, there's nothing else anybody could do. And I kept smiling. And I was like, it's just so much fit in here in the restaurant. <laughs> Nothing. And so um, I, I'm, I'm just like, how do, maybe if I say my name, she will recognize my name and say, okay, we'll seat you, Miss Shepard. But nobody in the restaurant was acting like they knew me. So I, I'm standing here and I'm just like, oh my God. So she said, well, what's your phone number? And I said, Sherry Shepard. <laughs> And she said, no, ma'am, I need your phone number. <laughs> and I said, Sherry Shepard, with an I. That's what I said. And she said, well, then you can just have a seat. So I'm literally, I'm walking to find a seat. It's so crowded in this restaurant. And it was an empty seat next to this lady. So I went to sit there and she goes, oh, excuse me, somebody's sitting here. And I, so now I'm just humiliated. Because you know, you know when you're going in a club, you're in a club and you see a seat and you go and they go know somebody, you're like, oh, okay, all right, oh, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm sitting, like, so I'm walking around dejected looking. And uh, the lady has me, she's like, there's no seats, you can sit there. It was on the corner of the windowsill, like the window ledge. So I'm sitting there and I pull out my phone and I try to pretend like I'm doing something on my phone. My phone had died, okay? There's nothing. <laughs> I just wanted to pretend like I'm preoccupied because everybody had to come past me and everybody was coming as I'm sitting on the edge of, now, you know, I don't, it is not like I have a big booty, but I didn't build a booty in the gym so my booty is not fitting on the window ledge. And I'm sitting there, and everybody's got to go past me to get, but nobody is working. So I just kept standing my phone like this. And when I finally, after 35 minutes, uh, got my table outside, uh, as soon as, because there were no tables inside, so I sat outside. As soon as I went to take my first bite, everybody recognizes me. <laughs> Literally, everybody. I got chicken lettuce wraps in my mouth. <laughs> I am so hungry, it's sauce on the edge of, on the edge of my face. I'm eat, and everybody wanted a picture. So thank you, Chicago. I got humbled in my own hometown. <laughs> oh my gosh! Next time when they say, what's your name? I'm gonna go Quinta Brunson. <laughs>